Okay, Pops, we know that the chip shortage, the car shortage, all the supply chain issues, they've affected the market beyond considerably. It is a new market because of what's happened with all the shortages. However, there are some regional effects still at play. We have great data from the, our friends over at Four Eyes. We can see how down sales are and how down inventory levels are. We'll probably title this video something along the lines of the states and areas hardest hit by the car shortage. Should we jump into it? Um, I don't know why we wouldn't. Okay, so sales are down the most. New car sales are down the most in the United States. In Arkansas? And Montana, 29 and 28 wow. percent, respectively. Those are the two states that have been hardest hit by the car shortage in terms of year over year how many cars their dealers have been able to sell. No, I wonder why that would be. I have absolutely no clue. Uh, well, Montana, I'm just assuming, is a big truck and SUV market. Yeah. Okay. And there had been shortages of trucks and SUVs, especially yep. the ones that Montanans might want. Yep. As far as Arkansas is concerned, uh, that's one of the poorer states in the nation, and that could impact why their sales are down because new cars have become less and less affordable for more and more people. And if Arkansas is a state where there's less people with means, yeah. And that would indicate why. And let's be clear, means to spend $50,000 on a new car because that's what the average new car transaction price is. You know, Maryland is actually tied with Montana with 28% decline in sales year over year. And I'm just looking at it here, Dad. Chrysler sales in the state of Maryland down 82%. Alfa Romeo sales down 78%. Fiat sales, well, who cares about Fiat? Yeah. Uh, Subaru sales down 70%. Ram sales down 49%. So here in Maryland, yeah. one of the top three that have seen the biggest impacts in in terms of sales. Want to know who the good dealer is in your neighborhood? Go to joinya.com and check out our crowdsourced dealer reviews. All of our community members coming together to help one another. Now let's talk about inventory levels, mm -hmm. okay? So not the amount of cars that have been sold, but how many vehicles are actually in inventory. Some of your biggest losers. Yes. Maryland at 62% down. Ohio at 64% down. Connecticut and New Jersey around 60% down. And so in, in the East you, Coast here. But you know what's interesting? Huh? Montana's only down 48%. Yep. But, but their sales are down 28%. That's really interesting. Yeah. Tennessee is going to be your, your bell at the ball here. Inventory wow. levels are down 64% in the state of Tennessee. And let's take a peek at, at what uh, manufacturers constitute those, those losses. Volkswagen inventories are down 85%. Subaru inventories, 89%. Kia inventories down 78%. Jaguar inventories down 83%. Honda inventories down 85%. Chrysler inventories down 81%. Wow. Hyundai inventories down 72%. That's all just in Tennessee. That state has been hit the hardest. Yes. Uh, Ohio is also down 64%. Let's look at what's going on there. Volkswagen inventory is down 84%. Subaru down 89%. My goodness. Jaguar down 80%. Honda inventories in Ohio down 80%. are down 80%. Wow. Chrysler down 79%. Buick down 78%. Alfa Romeo down 74%. So Ohio and Tennessee both down 64% wow, year over just, year. That's, that's staggering. And it's interesting, Dad. You called it. Montana is only down 48%. Outside of Alaska, which inventory levels in Alaska are down 44%, yeah. that's some of the least, Yes, you know, like but that, they're doing best in terms of inventory compared to their peers. But their sales are down some of the highest. Yeah. Nevada, Nevada, I'm sorry, I always say it wrong. Nevada is down 49%. Yeah, you know, and and that's that's an area of the country where you absolutely positively need to have a car because uh, oh, yeah, you can. Uh, public transportation is not a strong suit in that part of the country. Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Alabama inventory levels down forty seven percent. Georgia inventory levels only down forty nine percent. Florida inventory levels down fifty four percent. The national average is fifty eight percent. Yes. So if you're below 58, you're doing better. If you're yes. above 58, you're doing worse. Yeah. And for Florida, they should have a thing that says doc fees are up. <laughs> doc fees are, are definitely up. Yes. So what do you make of this, Pops? Is it going to be that it's the mix of trucks and SUVs where people have more interest in those? We're going to see bigger shortages in inventory? I, I think part of it says uh, for parts of the country that certain things are way too expensive for what they should be and that more and more people are falling out of the market f for affordability reasons. 
Um, you take a state like Maryland, you know, where it's a fairly affluent state. Definitely I mean, the, you know, especially yeah. when you're in the D.C. area. Yeah, the suburbs of D.C. are yeah. very affluent. Um, and, and the prices of things are incredibly expensive. So that would just indicate to me if sales are down 62 percent that people are just saying the hell with it. Because it's not a, it's not necessarily as much inventory uh, levels are down sixty two percent. Yeah, sales yeah. are only down twenty eight percent. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. <laughs> so, so yeah, I got that backwards. That means that good folks in in Maryland are saying, well, you know, we'll still buy. That's what it and seems that's because like. it's and that's because it's an affluent population. Yeah, yeah, I believe. No, I think you could be onto something there. Yeah. We'll link to the data down below. Definitely play around with this. If you're in the market trying to buy a car, you can use this also to help you think through maybe where you could get a potentially better deal. Yes. You know, somewhere, you know, maybe it's a state nearby that has more Honda inventory if you're looking for a Honda. Click around, play with this data. Four Eyes does an awesome job, and it updates in real time. So yes. if any of the numbers that we said are different by the time this video is going out on YouTube, That's because it's only because the data updates in real time. So don't hold it against us. It's a great resource, though. And, and don't hold it against Four Eyes. It's yeah. Just means that their their uh, data is the most relevant it can possibly be, which we like. Yes, thanks, pops. Thank you.